Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And today we have our resident priest with us to take a look at some unexpected children's prayers. Right. Okay. Unexpected children's prayers. Yeah. Oh, wait, how have you got kids' prayers? I don't understand. They're ones that the kids have written down and they've been uploaded on the internet. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah. Dear God, I bet it's very hard for you to love all of everybody in the whole world. There are only four people in my family and I can never do it. <laughs> Brilliant. Dear God, if we come back as something, please don't let me be Jennifer Horton because I hate her. Wow. Wow. A few, a few things wow. mixed up there. Yeah. Just a little bit of reincarnation. <laughs> Dear God, is Reverend Co a friend of yours? Or do you just know him through business? Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, I think the stapler is one of your greatest invention. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> I think I remember the first time using a stapler. Wow. Like, being, being like, what? holy crap. This is incredible. Yeah. At the humble age of six, yeah. you can be doing metal work. Yeah, yeah you are bending yeah, metal. Exactly. Yeah. It's epic. Dear God. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. If you give me genie lamp like Aladdin, Ooh. I will give you everything oh, you want, mind. except my money or my chest set. <laughs> Next up, how did you know you were God? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is that is like really profound in a way, right? That's a great I mean, that's prayer. that's amazing from Charlene because that's like... From Charlene, thanks Charlene. Because yeah. That's like philosophy 101. You, first thing you learn when you get to university, right? Yeah. Basically, is you can't really prove anything. I bet God would say, I can't prove it. I mean, I don't think yeah, like, God, God is an only... algebraic equation, right? That's he like, is. Oh, he's not. Oh, he's not. Where you're like, oh, I've got the, I've got the math, and I've got the root now. This is what he's always like. Like, you can't contain him. Okay. Like, Isn't that... That mm, is like cake and eat like it. <laughs> things like that bug me though. There's lots of times that you would say, oh, God is like this. Mm. But then you'd be like, but if that's not right, hmm, who am I to say? Yeah, mm. but then you can't just apply human logic to, exactly. to God. Exactly. This is exactly what I'm saying. So, so then how can we know anything about God? Well, you look at Jesus and you go, what's God like? Look at Jesus. What's, what's God, what would God say on this? Well, what did Jesus say on this? What's okay. his character like? Look at Jesus. That's, that's how we as Christians know what God is like. Oh. He's loving and sacrificial and compassionate. That's how you know. Okay, that's, yeah, that's actually a pretty good answer. <laughs> pretty good answer. <laughs> <sighs> Dear God, thank you for that yeah, answer. Okay. <laughs> Dear God. Dear God, thank you for the baby brother. But what I prayed for was a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. We read Thomas Edison made light, but in Sunday school they said <laughs> you did yeah. it. So I bet he stole your idea. <laughs> Brilliant, Donna. He, he did actually steal it though from someone else. Man, he really? I mean, yeah, so it's wow, like that's like okay. third degree theft. So Donna figured it out. Yeah. Donna. She knew. She knew. Get Detective, her. Detective Donna. Bet she's a barrister now yeah. or something. <laughs> did you really mean do unto others as they do unto you? Because if you did, I'm going to fix my brother. Oh, he's going to like. <laughs> Darla's gone a little bit more down the eye for an eye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's lost it. Yeah, wrong testament. I will mess you up. <laughs> yeah. Dear God, I do not think anybody could be a better God. Well, I just want you to know, but I am not just saying that because you are God. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> I love it. He's like, I know, I probably would be saying this, but I, I mean it. Classic. E even though that's well, classic true. Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> You're a terrible person. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you take away the childish like manner in which it, it's quite a profound prayer, he's basically saying you're the, you know the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, you know God of Gods, and and then the kid kind of thought, oh, I'm not just saying that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah classic. Okay. Dear God, please put another holiday between Christmas yeah. and Easter. There's nothing good in there now. <laughs> That's oh great. man, I feel you, Ginny. Yeah. I feel you, dear God. Maybe Cain and Abel would not kill each other so much <laughs> if they had their own rooms. <laughs> it works for me and my brother, Larry. Uh, uh, that's nice. He's just being really sweet yeah. and just being like, hey, God, have you thought about this? Dear God, Daddy says you're bigger than anything. Are you bigger than Shaq? <laughs> <laughs> Is God bigger than Shaq? <laughs> you could say that as, a, as created in the image of God, mm -hmm. Shaq has within him God. And it, it is God a like characteristics, so which God, does not include throwing three pointers. But God like God, God like dunks yeah. for sure. Yeah, he had Slam dunks. Mortal, 
very mortal skills when it came to, to three pointers. You know, he scored over Gross. 10,000 points, yeah. not a single three pointer. No, I wouldn't believe it. Of I think that's not. true. I think that's true. Well, why, would Shaq why would Shaq take, take three, three pointers? Point shot? In fact, he probably told off by his coach if he did. Oh, 100%. Oh, he made one. Dear Jesus, please don't come back before the next Cars movie. Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow. legitimate, legitimate. I had that kind of prayer when I was growing up. I was like, look, Lord, I love you and I really want you to come back soon. But I would really like to have kids. Okay. okay. You know, I, I'd okay. like to have a family. So I kind of prayed that. What was in. your position on the Cars movie? Was that... <laughs> I mean, that's what's really important for that Stevie. I'm not here yeah. to judge Stevie. Fair, Fair enough. enough. I'm but judging Stevie. Cars was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, here is a poem. I love you because you give us what we need to live. But I wish you would tell me why you made it so we have to die. Wow. wow. Well done, Daniel. Profound. That is really profound. You're going to ask me why we have to die? No, yeah, because of the fall of man. It's like the classic get out of jail free card. It's like, eh, it wasn't me, it was my creation, which I obviously designed everything about, but not my fault, their fault. It's like designing a robot and it breaks and you go, stupid robot. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, death, if you take the story of Adam and Eve, they eat the apple and they, and they fall in the sense there's a separation from God. Yeah. You know, he's given them this free will. If you give something free will, you can't just then make their decisions or it's not free will. But because they take the apple and they fall, they don't just fall and die there and then. God says, now you will die because I then will plan a redemption will happen. So the death is in a sense, a gift that says, one day I will defeat death and restore you. Dear God, are you really invisible? Or is it just a trick? <laughs> is God invisible? I mean, I'd say yes and no. I mean, it says classic. Like, okay, classic. Sorry, this is absolutely. All oh, right, all oh, right, all right. Well, let. Right. All right. So, so in Romans, Saint Paul says, yeah, no one has an excuse. Look, God can be seen everywhere. The fact that you're alive, the fact that there is beauty of creation, the fact that you know it's beautiful, okay. all speaks to the fact that something in you is is great and deeper than you understand. And this, this the voice within you should say mm. that is God. Mm -hmm. So yes, not he random is, chaos. You can see him in terms of its creation around you, but okay. also invisible in the sense that, you know, the spirit moves like the wind. You can't see the wind, but you feel it. Well, Lucy, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, my mummy told me what you do. Who does it when you're on vacation? <laughs> Jenny. Jenny. Vacation. <laughs> I love that. Dear God, I want to be just like my daddy when I get big, but not with so much hair all over. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. Does, yeah. Jesus, fine does God's physical form have hair all over? What? What yeah. do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. I'm running out of questions. <laughs> all right, okay. Last up. Last one. Dear God, I keep waiting for spring, but it never come yet. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> I Just feel a, you, Mark. A reminder to I God. By the way. You. Well, that's been children's <laughs> prayers. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. And thank you, the children who wrote those prayers. Have you got a message? for people watching this? I would say prayer works, keep praying. And we often don't know how to pray, but I think in a funny way, prayer is really easy. It's just like, what do I feel? And then just say it. So if you aren't sure how to pray, just start by saying what you feel hmm. and then go from there to a request. But yeah, prayer okay. works. All right, well, on that note, see you jolly soon. See you later. Peace. Be with you. Mm -hmm.